Welcome back to Kicking It with KG, guys. We have another podcast. I know that it's been like a, a couple, maybe even a few months since the last podcast. But these next few podcasts are going to be pretty interesting, or at least I think so. Today's topic is Ethan. And the reason we're doing this... Hang on. Bitcoin's going wild. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, we're back. I had to go... Uh, I had to go stop the computer. It was was heating up quick. (laughs) But yeah, these next few episodes, I want to bring you guys in and talk to you guys with and about the team around Kendall Gray Outdoors. Because even though I am the one in front of the camera most of the time, I'm not the only one here at all. And there's actually quite a few people working behind the scenes. And so Ethan's one of them. Ethan's probably the one that you know the most. But you still may not know everything you want to know about him. So we're just going to do a little podcast Basically interviewing, who is Ethan? That's so right. who is Ethan? What is your what is your f- full name? If my full name? Social security. No, I'm not. I'm not giving you my social security. All right. It ends in zero. No. What's your full name? Ethan Ray Carmack. If if that mattered to you guys, I guess more it's importantly though, how did we meet? It's really weird. Um, I I don't know. As far as like the YouTube thing is different than how, because I remember, honestly, probably at school when we was really little, and we just didn't know it. Cause see, uh, my papa and Kendall's mom used to work together, so when we was really little, I get I don't really think it would matter because we didn't hang out. But we probably met at school, and uh, I moved away and went to another school not too far away. And uh, my mom and Kendall's, is she your cousin? I think so. Yeah. So basically, Kendall's cousin invited me to go to church with them. So I was like, okay, sure. So I went to church. They go to church with Kendall. And we just started talking and just kind of hit it off there. And since that, we was like, you know what? This guy is is normal. And he's kind of like me. And we do the same thing. And it all just, like, it was like a snowball effect. It just started that way. Yeah, it was a super. It was a super. It was a church Super Bowl party. Was it a Super Bowl party? Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, I don't know who was playing because I don't know anything about football, but I do right. know about guns, and that's what we talked about pretty much the whole time. That's what we talked about the first time. You, we was kind of like, "You like guns?" Like, yeah. It's like, "You like guns?" Sure. It's like, let's hang out. All right. <laughs> did uh, you see my channel at all before you met me? Yeah, I did. I did. Did uh, you like it? I did like the channel. I, it was mostly when I first started watching. It's mostly fishing stuff. Mm-hmm. It really was mostly fishing, trapping. I was like, you know what? I always liked to get into trapping stuff like that, but never did it. Mm-hmm. But so I did. I remember the first video I watched was actually when you killed the um, groundhog down here at Mammy's. Yeah, that was the first video you ever watched. And then I, I really liked the video, so I'd, I'd watch them about every night. Wow, that's pretty often. It was. I would binge watch them. So after we met the first time, we kind of just uh, talked a lot on uh, the phone, I guess. Mainly Snapchat. Snapchat, yeah. yeah. And then eventually we ended up doing a first video, which was, do you remember what that was? Our first video, yeah. Yeah, I do, the pool pond video, where uh, we took a bunch of guns out and shot the pool pond. Yeah, that's true. We actually <laughs> did two videos in one yeah. that day. Because yeah. we did, the first video, I think, was whenever I hit a million subscribers. It was that video, and we basically just shot a bunch of guns. It wasn't really that amazing, but honestly, it kind of was. It's pretty cool. I bought a Glock off of you, which I have then sold. Yeah. you. We barter a lot. Yeah. That's what y'all don't see off camera, too. Yeah, me and Ethan <laughs> trade guns with each other all the time. And the, here's the weird thing is, as far as trading, we only trade with like each other, really, unless we're selling it. Yeah, yeah, I don't really trade with anybody. I buy from random people, and I sell to random people, but I don't really trade with anybody, no. except Ethan, and we actually trade kind of quite often. There was one AK, AK-47 in the mix. It was traded back and forth like three times until... Four. F- four times? Four times. Until finally it ended in my possession, and I believe it's going to stay in my possession because it was my goal and still is to uh, kind of wear it out and abuse it. It's in your name anyway. Yeah, it's in my it's in my gun safe right now. I had it on top of the Defender for the longest time, yeah. but then I realized if I'm going to have a gun that I pack around on the Defender 24-7, I would want it to at least have a scope 
because maybe there's a coyote 200 yards around, which is what the gun and the defenders really probably needed most for. Let's say there's a random coyote 200 yards away. I pull it out. I want to shoot at it, you know. I want to get rid of it. Well, an iron-sided AK is probably not the move. No. So I replaced, replaced it with a scoped AK. And it is also getting, honestly, abused. It is. But that's exactly what it's made for. It is. It's a really nice one. Very nice gun. I like it. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, uh, other than the 1 million video, we actually had, um, let's see. Before we done the first video at all, you did buy a couple KG Red Dots and Scopes off of me. And you did, did. like them. And they I, did work good. And they still work good. They still do. I still have all of those. I honestly... This is bad, but as far as use in in service right now, I've probably got you beat on the amount of KG optics that you're running right now. You probably do. I, I think I do. I probably got like I probably got like seven total. I've got eight Jaeger Pros alone. The Jaeger Pros are a beast too. They are. I've I've are abused we, them. Are we looking at a Jaeger Pro Gen two? I don't know. I, probably not. I think we should. I think we probably should go back too, to the but, drawing board yeah. and just build a tank yeah so then as you guys probably said, if you watch the channel a ton you'll know that you know ethan started showing up in more and more videos he'd come through he'd come through for like an evening we'd film a video together then we'd do something else and then we'd do something else and then what was it like whenever you were, and if you guys don't know he is an official employee now i've been an employee for over a year no actually no yeah March 9th will make a year being a paid employee. An official. Yeah. And a legal paid yeah, employee. A legal employee will be a year. You have been a paid employee for honestly longer. I have. Because the first, the first months and so, we just had problems with accounting and it, yeah. it wasn't ever really set up. But you was, you've actually been here over a year. I think maybe a year and a month or something. Yeah, that's Didn't, paid. Wasn't it January? Yeah. That's a long time. But as well, yeah. far as the channel, it's been over th right at three years. What? Since you've what? Been on the channel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, three years. What was it like when you first started, like, got the call whenever I was like, Ethan, what if you, like... Come work for you? Yeah. I remember. I remember that very good. I do, too. On what happened. Um, I was actually working somewhere else in... Uh, Things didn't work out there, and literally the same day that I quit the job, we'll just say that, Kendall texts me, and I'm just laying there in the bed like, I might as well go find another job. Kendall actually said, hey. I said, yeah, what's up? He said, how would you like to come an official employee and work here? I'm like, what do you mean? It's like, yeah, pay you to work here, camera, as a cameraman, whatever. It's like, you got to be kidding. He's like, No. <laughs> He's like, we'll get you on payroll. We'll get everything worked out, and we'll have you as an employee. So I was like, man, okay, let's do it. And then I did not know that you uh, did that. That was the same day. It was the same day, like within two hours that I got home. I knew that you was at that job, and it really, I knew it wasn't working out because you didn't like it. No, I didn't. I like the people. Uh, still keep in contact with them. They're good people. Mm -hmm. But as far as the job, no. It just wasn't working out. No. But the, I was with Abram, and I was like, Abram, this is getting hard to do it all, huh? Because I was trying to, like, expand a little bit, too. And I was like, Abram, Abram was going to go, uh, I don't know. Abram's like a world traveler. He's in, like, Africa right now. Yeah. So he definitely wasn't going to be an option at all. Although he may be an option eventually. I don't know. And we've even talked about that, too. But then I was like, Ethan's literally the only guy that I can have around that I don't get, like, extremely tired of. And he's, like, and he's very useful. He said extremely tired of? So what are you trying to say? Hey, man. But, like, uh, whenever you came on the first time, it's like, as for, like, uh, I mean, all of this was pretty much very foreign to you. Oh yeah, like a ca holding the camera and a editing and all that. Oh yeah, because if you would ask me in high school, like, hey, what's your what's probably your go career going to be? And if someone would have come and looked at me and said YouTube, I'd have been like, you're stupid. There's no way. And then fast forward, I graduated in t 2019, and fast forward to now, and I'm like, huh, okay. Like when Ethan came on, 
we had to start training from the ground up. It was bad. It it was it was bad. The, one of Ethan's crazy things. So the first the first real job Ethan got was I think uh, hold the camera. Okay, <laughs> cameraman. Pretty basic. Also, Ethan's probably one of the best cameraman ever, and it's not because he holds the camera. It's because he holds the camera, but he also talks. So like. Anybody can just hold a camera, but if if I have a cameraman that holds a camera and be quiet, it's kind of like it's just worse than a tripod. Kind of static. Yeah, it's very static. And I was like, you know what? I can do YouTube. I can do it like this. I can, you know, vlog like this. But you know, some days I just need someone to talk back. And Ethan was very good at that. And apparently, he sounds like King of the Hill or somebody. Hank Hill. I don't know. Hank Hill. That's what they always said. Oh yeah. But yeah, I had to, we had to teach Ethan how to hold the camera. And believe it or not, holding the camera is a lot harder than just holding the camera. Oh yeah, especially this one. This, this camera is... That camera is heavy. Like a lot of people think, oh, you're you're just a cameraman. You just hold it there. It's not, is it? No, like if we're running gunning... okay, put Which is it, what we do 24-7. We never sit still. No. And keep... Y'all just think of this. We're in the hills of Kentucky. Mm-hmm. And half the time you see these hunts... We are running with a camera to make it look good up and down these hills. It's not easy. No, I it's don't care not. who you are. It's it might be easy down here in Florida. It might be easy over here on a boat. Doing I don't think it's does. easy anybody. I don't think it's easy anywhere. Because when you think about having a camera, you're like, all right, let's say I'm filming a guy doing a sit down video tying a knot. All right, you pretty much just do this. Right. Well. I don't think I've ever done a video like that in my life. Mm-hmm. We're always, you're always moving. I'm always moving. The cameraman's usually always moving, getting a little bit different angle. Sometimes yeah. you'll have to zoom in. Sometimes you'll just have to listen to the way I talk and know, oh, whenever he, oh, oh, I need to look at the thing. I, I need to point at the thing. Oh, I need to zoom in. Oh, he's not saying anything. Let me zoom in on his face because he doesn't know what's going on <laughs> and a bunch of stuff. And not only, one of Ethan's biggest problems was this. He'd go like this. Yeah. He'd do one hand, then he'd start drooping, then he'd start video my feet. <laughs> but I'll I tell you what, though. Um, it, it might sound dumb, but as a cameraman, it seems like we've kind of learned each other more as a person. Because mm-hmm. you, like, you have to about read that person's mind. You do. You really do. That's really important. So, like, pretty much, like, even us talking like we would off camera or something like that, we're basically thinking sort of the same thing. Yeah, you really do have to understand the person and what their tendencies are because my tendencies are a lot of times I'll be talking about something and then I'll then I'll start talking about it and then instantly it flows best if you know they're filming me and then as I start talking about a thing you look at the thing and zoom in and it's like stuff like that. That's just, if you don't zoom in, it just doesn't. They're not the the viewer isn't getting the information they need. Which if I'm talking about something. You turn over and look at it, and then by knowing how long, I don't know, my average sentence is or something, or how long I usually look at something, he'll know about the same time of when he needs to come back up. I, I can tell you that by firsthand experience. Um, you remember when I went down and seen with, with Ace, right? Yeah. You can tell. I, that's where I realized that. I was like, I've, I've videoed something for Ace for a second for a clip or something like that. Yeah. Went down there and hung out with him, and just not knowing him, like I do Kindle, everything is just like a different world. Like, I'm like, is he going to do this or do that? Is he going to sit still or go? I'm like, you have to learn pretty, yeah. like what they're doing to a T. It's, it's different, but I mean, I, I like it. It's pretty fun. It's very active. It's very fun and active, yeah. It's, it's very rarely like the same thing over and over. It doesn't get boring because it lit- it's always different. And you have you do have to be pretty engaged. Oh yeah. Cuz like something crazy could happen. You have to like you have to be smooth. You have to you got to like it's a very active thing. You have to be on your toes too cuz I don't know if y'all remember. I know you remember. I was videoing and Kendall what he was talking about when you're looking through the camera. Yeah. You're looking through a lens about this about this big. And uh, when something's happening, you can't see everything around it. So Kendall was taking targets down off the high wall. You remember when you, <laughs> he throws a silhouette? These are still. And all I can hear is it's like dinging down the hill. Next thing I know, I kind of like look over at my feet and I just see it just yeet. So like you're you're on your toes. Yeah. 
one of the biggest things with camera, or at least what I've found with Ethan, and because whenever I'm filming myself, I never have to do this. I'm either I'm either filming like this, and I'm pretty well have it figured out where it is or i'm filming like this to where i can see exactly what i'm looking at but one of the biggest things for a cameraman is instead of look holding the looking at the person and holding the camera you need to be holding the camera and looking at the person the subject through the thing that way you can more you can move better and you know that you're always in frame oh yeah that that's a tough one so. about camera work what do you think about it I like it. One thing um, we got to get better at is taking pictures. Because, yeah. I mean, we have an Instagram, or I have an Instagram, and, I mean, I'd like to post cool pictures on it about what the videos are about. Oh, yeah. And we have a website, kendallgray1.com slash shop. Not sponsored, but it is sponsored. Pretty it's much. not sponsored. It's sponsored. Long story short, what I'm trying to say is that we need to take pictures with this camera so that we can put pictures on the website, but we always forget to take pictures. Yeah. Screenshots don't do it when you're pulling it from Final Cut. You know, that's really true. Screenshots, yeah. Screenshots aren't the move. They're nice, but I mean, you don't get Cameraman was your first job. First real job. What do you think was your second job? Here. Actually, yeah. Let's just go through. What all do you do here? Because you see him. You see him. If you watch the channel a lot, you'll see him as the cameraman. Ethan does a whole lot more than that. Oh, yeah. Like, a, a, a lot more than that. Where do I start? Yeah, I know. That's a good one. <laughs> um, it's like a big list. My job basically is pretty much, it goes from camera work, editing. Let's just go through what you did today. Maintenance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I do most of the maintenance around here too. Um, maintenance, uh, basically. For example, today we... <laughs> We broke the door off the Defender, and Ethan fixed it. Yeah. It, was, it didn't take us long. No. We was also in the middle of the mountain when we did it. So. With no tools. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that, too. You also did a asset recovery, yeah. which that was a team mission, but he did recover most of the asset. I'll give you a little short story. Today, we went out. We was like, all right, we need to go get this tree stand. We need to get the tree stand. It's been there for a year. We've never even hunted out of it. Someone's going to steal it. Because it's kind of on public land, or not really public land, but land where multiple people go to. We went to get it. We broke the door off on the way there, <laughs> laying out in the middle of the road. Ethan fixed the door, which was nice. We carried on. Once we got to the tree stand, I took my squirrel dog with me. I need the trainer. So I let Ethan go ahead and, you know, take take it apart a little bit. And I take her out and get her training, get her in the woods, trying to get her to hunt, learning how to hunt so that we can have future episodes. So Ethan did all that. And then... The tree stand was locked to a tree, and you... With a chain, with a big old chain and a big old lock. Two padlocks. And guess who didn't bring the right key? It's me, by the way. Yeah, he didn't bring the right key. I brought the wrong tree stand key. Yeah. So he, I was like, he was like, hey, you brought the wrong key. I was like, uh, I said, uh, see what you could do. <laughs> and then he, we took apart the tree stand. Tree stand sitting right back there at the at the building now. We ain't got it? the tree stand complete and the chain still on the tree. <laughs> so whether that was my mistake for chaining it up, which it we almost died trying to undo it, but we literally had to take apart the tree stand in the tree and then get it off of the chain. Oh yeah, kind of kind of crazy, but oh. I mean, hey, we we lost the chain, we lost the lock. We got the tree stand. We lost two locks. Yeah. And my dog did indeed not tree a squirrel. But she did get to run around the woods. Maybe that's a big deal. That's Then, on our way back, we came back. Then you went to Uber Eats. Yeah. When that's got, that's when, an everyday job. Oh, yeah. Going to get food. Yeah. Because we don't... We cook here... We twice cook here, a month? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe twice a month. Or when it's like really bad weather, we'll throw in like a Tony's pizza. He is the cook. That's one thing I don't do around here is cook. That is true. I was I don't about to say that. He's not the cook. No. I am the I am the chef around here. Now I'm not the I'm not a good chef, no, but I am not. the chef. What do we get so every single day Ethan goes out, he will he'll get us some food for lunch. Okay. Literally every single day. 
which to town, it's like a 12 minute drive. But a lot of times you also take packages to the post office, which is a delivery man. Yeah. So that you guys can get your merch that you bought on kindlegrade1.com slash shop or first link description. Maybe you bought a pocket knife. Maybe you bought a t-shirt. Maybe you bought a backpack. Ethan takes it to the post office. I hand deliver each one. Well, <laughs> to the post office. Yeah. And then they take it from there. And if and then if it's like, hey, we need... um. Basically, if there's something that needs to be got, Ethan usually gets it. Yeah. Like, hey, we need uh, what do we usually need? What's something random we need? Random? Like, like a, a bolt? Yeah. Hey, will you get me a bolt to go fix the target back here? Sure. Here's here it is. Can here. you go make sure it's the same one? Sure. Go and do it. Come back. What are what, what's our food? What's our food uh menu look like here? Our food menu uh. It's very predictable. It's either uh, Little Caesars Pizza. That's we, probably 80% of the time. Yeah, with jalapeno cheese. Dip. Yeah, we have if a cheat code. If you've not tried it, please do. Your life will be changed. Maybe for the worse. No. No. Um, the pizza, Taco Bell, used to be a lot. Used to be ta- We used to eat Taco Bell a lot. There yeah. for like a period of two months. We went it there more than Little Caesars. Yeah. And we go to Little Caesars about 80% of the time. But then... KFC. Little Caesars made me upset. And I'm I'm boycotting Taco Bell because they took away their beef burrito. Yeah, I know. That was so sad. They do have another one back that replaced it. What's I it tr- called? I don't remember. It's called like the Frito Burrito? No. They, it replaced that one too. But this one is absolutely It makes point. me mad because it's $2. Yeah. That's the one I got. It had like sour cream, cheese, stuff like that. I think it's really good. Yeah. But it's $2. Regardless... When Taco Bell took away their one dollar beef burrito, I'll never go there again. Nah. I can't Plus, do Taco that Bell time. is terrible food. Like it will kill you. Yeah, it might, but I mean, we're gonna die anyway. I mean, Little Caesars will kill you too. <laughs> oh yeah. And then we rarely go to KFC. But it's still an option. It's still an option. It's a decent option. It never fills me up, but no. it's whatever. No. Then after after that we got back here or you brought the food back. Cool thing about that. Well, cool thing about today. Ethan went out to get the food. I was like, all right, I got some traps I gotta go check. Probably nothing gonna be in them. So I went to check the traps. There is like a 20, 25, 30 minute trap line check. Turns out I had a coon. So I was like, <laughs> he called me. He's like, where you at? I'm I'm at home. I was like, uh, I got I'm getting a coon out of a trap. He's so like, I you're went back ahead. already. <laughs> yeah, I went ahead and got the coon out of the trap. Boom, b- bing bong, whatever you gonna call it. <laughs> Came back, we ate the pizza. Then what did we do? Um, I think we came up here. Yeah, we came up here. I was like, all right, Ethan. Move footage over. Yeah, can you get the memory card and all the footage we done and organize it onto the hard drive? Because tomorrow, I'm going to go and I'm going to take the footage and upload it onto Drive for our editor to edit. Yeah. Which you will guys be seeing soon on a podcast. Yeah. And so then I was like, Ethan, we're doing a podcast. Make sure the cameras are lined up. Make sure the lights work. I should have told him, can you turn my Bitcoin miner off so it don't say a helicopter about to take off in the side of the room? Yeah, burn your computer down. Yeah, but yeah, long story short, that's about, uh, that, or that's not it. That's all we've done today. Now, Ethan also edits. I do. This, I, this I'm really proud of Ethan for this because when Ethan came in, he was not a big tech guy, okay? No. And I was like, Ethan, can you edit? He was like, no. I was like, <laughs> I know, but I'm going to try to teach you and uh, put him on a Mac. I think I showed him some right here, me editing some on like a big thing so he could see. And then I was also, I gave him like a list of like a couple hours of tutorials to watch on YouTube of how to edit. And I was like, Ethan, you'd be really good to edit once you like learn the basic basic controls and stuff because he's really creative. And if you've seen some of the videos, you know. (laughs) Ethan edits the second channel videos. The main channel videos is the other guy that I'll tell you about probably in maybe next episode or something like that. But he edits all the second channel videos, and they're just so random. (laughs) It's like the second channel videos, we have a lot of freedom on there because we're not like, we never said it's an outdoor channel. We never said it's anything. We never said there's going to be good videos on there. So Ethan edits them. He makes them as dumb as possible, which is as good. That's the whole point. So, yeah. like, if y'all's ever confused, like, what? There's you, a reason behind it. If you ever it. look in there, and I we, 
I talk about the rock, and there's a screenshot picture of rock <laughs> with the Google outline still in it. That's him. He just throws it together, and it makes it really good. What's your that, favorite video that you've edited? Favorite one that I've edited? Yeah, because you've actually been editing for a long time. And keep in mind, guys, what? It, he, he had no clue how to edit at all. And you edited your first video probably like within a week of starting to learn. Yeah. So if you guys are like, I don't know how to edit a video, so I ain't going to. Ethan had no idea what he was doing. No, I knew nothing about it, no. Now he can edit about anything thrown in front of him. Yeah. I mean. Now, I'm not going to say it's professional, but we're not going for professional. Pretty much, if you want me to edit something, expect it to be funny and random. Don't don't send me your business stuff, because I won't do that. It's going to be funny if it is. If you want it to, if you want it to look like a kindergartner with one leg, <laughs> edit it. Yeah, that's what you're going to get, and that's what makes them good. I like that. At least everything flows. It there makes was, sense. There was no, no, it don't yes, flow it does or flow. make sense. Yeah, it flows. It, it's so confusing. There At was least it one ain't choppy, video. Like just pauses. There was one video. <laughs> Four tr- soundtracks for one clip. <laughs> he was sitting over here. I'm usually, I'm usually, all right, so you're looking at me. Ethan's desk is right there. My desk is right there. So I'm kind of over there. I'm doing random stuff. I'm fixing videos up to get them to post, creating thumbnails, stuff like that. He's over here editing. He's like, uh, I don't know what I did. I was like, just try your best. I was, he's like, I have no idea what I did, but okay. We come, I, we review the video. It has... Four different musics, four different songs at the same time. It was jumping back and forth. I had a seizure over here. It was funny, though. And then another one was very similar to that. It was the pool pond video, like 30 minutes long. Yeah. It was supposed to be a second channel video, and I looked at it, and I was like, this is insane. This is going on the main channel. Yeah. And it was so funny. It was so dumb. <laughs> you, look, you just got to have that. You just got to have the heart of a comedian of something it's something but my favorite one probably the clay pigeon one dude the clay pigeon one was good too because like i sat over here and laughed so much that one in the pool pond video both of those was hilarious those are those are my two favorite those are good ones they are dude the second channel is doing really good the best thing about it let me tell you this the best thing, in my opinion, about the second channel is that it starts like this. Hey, Ethan, you want to go, uh, you want to go, uh, shoot a, you want to go, like, uh, shoot a cinder block with a bunch of guns? And he's like, yeah. And then we, we go, we just come up with a random idea. Go out, film it for, like, 30 minutes, bring it back, edit it for, like, an hour, and boom, we have a full video that's pretty good. It's pretty hilarious. I'll usually. make a I'll make a thumbnail that looks like a million bucks, post it up, and they do good. I d- like it's like it's so different than the main channel. And the second channel, it's like we have freedom that if this one does if no one watches this video, That's we fine. literally do not care. Mm-mm. On the main channel, it's like, man, we, we want to get good videos because you know, we don't want to lose momentum. Over here we're th- on the second channel, we're throwing random stuff together. And they are they're doing good, too. And I don't know if it's because we don't care, and it's like maybe they like the feeling of it, don't care, or if it's just our random ideas are actually really good ideas. Like one, where he's like, hey, I was getting a, I had my air gun. I was like, hey, I want to get my air gun ready so that I can do a main channel video with it, squirrel hunting. So he's like, okay, well, while we're in the process of getting it ready, which is, making sure it shoots straight, putting the scope on it, figuring out which pellet it likes best. We just filmed those as second channel videos, and they did great. They did. One of the best second channel videos we posted was... Uh, Probably the pellet test. Yeah. It was a pellet test. Ethan was like, what What if we turn a pellet backwards? And I was like, I don't know. Grab the camera. So we went outside. We tested its accuracy. We tested its penetration. A lot of people... As kids, we're told that, oh, if you t- turn a pellet ba- backwards and shoot it, it'll it'll kill better, and no one actually tested it. So me and Ethan took it out there, and we tested it for the people, for the four-year-olds with fully automatic <laughs> air guns, 
And we tested it. And we figured out it does penetrate more. No, it don't penetrate more. It expands more. Oh, yeah. It, it penetrates less, but it does expand more. At the end of the day, we came we came to the census that it doesn't really matter. No. Because <laughs> if you hit the squirrel where you're supposed to, it's going to die either way. Yeah, you're going to kill it. But that video is really cool because you could see how much more it expanded. And, I mean, that's just cool. We do random stuff like that on the second channel. So, yeah, if you see something second channel, it's usually me and Ethan randomly came up with it. We're just, that's The second channel videos are honest. Honestly, pretty much what we talk and do and just our normal lives. Yeah. And it's you'll, wild. You'll notice a lot of the second channel videos is a lot of gun videos. It's because we're like, hey, you want to do guns? You, and the second channel is like, we film whatever we do. Mm-hmm. The second channel is like a pretty real vlog. It's like, hey, we're going to shoot guns. We're going to spend $30 in ammo. We might as well make a video about it and make some of the money back. Yeah. And we do. And we do good. And it's like, hey, y'all like them. We like making them. It's fun to do. It's something to do. I don't think they realize like how much guns are involved in our everyday lives. Yeah, I know it's like, kind of a lot. We'll be up to midnight talking. I bought a gun from you yesterday, two yeah. days ago. Yeah, ordered gun parts today for a gun that I'm building. I ordered a. I bought a gun a few days ago for videos coming up. We do. We're pretty gun heavy here on on this on this company. Okay, if I said the channel, the main channel is not really gun heavy. But really. the second channel is very gun heavy. And just how we plan main channel videos, we're planning, actively planning second channel videos because we want that channel to be good too. Because it is good. It's oh, really yeah. good. And then the gaming channels, it's a whole other thing. We're going to talk to a guy, another person on the team of the, that helps me with the gaming channel. You guys have maybe seen him. But you may definitely not know that he works with me. But that'll be a later episode. But for now, yeah, Ethan edits. What else you do? Gunsmith. <laughs> he is a gunsmith, kind of. No, he is a gunsmith, but I have you smithing random things. Yeah. I'm like, you see this single shot, short barrel shotgun? <laughs> oh, my God. Put a red dot on it. He like, uh, okay. Let's make it happen. We, we, we figure it out somewhere. It doesn't make any sense, but we do random stuff. I've threw together some wild stuff. Today, you were part lumberjack? Kinda. I had him picking up firewood for a video. We're going to go, a a second channel video we're going to go film right after we get done doing this. What else do you do? Um, Oh, oh. You are the, um, you're the, um, what's that? You're the middleman of deals. Coming in and going out. You, yeah. You're like the facilitator. If I'm yeah. like, Ethan, I need this scope. He's like, all right, I'll find it. If I'm like, Ethan, we need a dirt bike. <laughs> He's like, all right, I'll find it. My dad's like, Ethan, we need to sell this school bus. He puts it on Facebook Marketplace at 9 o'clock. By 1030, we have 64 offers. And it's probably getting sold as we speak. Yeah, it's probably done sold. It's probably done sold. Yeah. So, like, if you... If you're going, if you're trying to sell him something, or if you're buying something from us, you're probably going through me. That's that's how it goes. Unless it's a squirrel dog. Yeah, he's on. Ethan's his own not there. a dog man, are you? I mean, like a sport dog man. Not, not really. Not yet. I no, I'm literally waiting on my first one. He's getting a poodle. I am getting. a Why poodle. Why did you choose to do a poodle? Because I mean, I had this lab. His name was Riley. I had him for like 14 years. Riley was like the best dog I've ever had. And I'm like, you know what? Everybody duck hunts with labs. And I've had one. It's like, let's switch it up. And I'm a huge Duck Dynasty fan too. So I was like, you know what? Let's get a poodle. So why not? Poodles are pretty. I don't know, man. Maybe. Speak it. So we've talked about some of the things you do with me. What else do you currently do? This is important. You want me to say? Sure. Well, I got I got a little something to say. All right, so when we first started, we was going five days a week. And um, I'm going to be honest, that didn't work. It didn't work, but for a few reasons. One, which is the main one, we didn't have enough stuff to do. What? Because no. whenever it's just me, I could work five days a week, but there would be times where it's one, like I'd go like an hour into a day, and I'd be like, you know what, I'm going to do 
something random, and I just quit working. Well, whenever Ethan comes, he can't just come and leave and come and leave. So usually whenever he comes, he you know, we need to do something for the whole day. Well, you know, as much things as we can come up to do, I just what we just wasn't able to come up with enough stuff we for was, me and Ethan to work five days a week. We was too efficient. Honestly, we was that's too, actually kind of really we, true. We get stuff done very quick together, honestly. Like the first three weeks Ethan started working full time, we went from uh Nine to five. Nine to five. Because it was uh, summertime. We went nine to five, at Monday through Friday, every day, the whole time. We we grinded the whole time. Well, we was three weeks in. We was making two and three videos a day. We got to week three, we was like, we... We're running out of ideas. We ran out of ideas. Yeah. We didn't have anything to do. No. And I was getting frustrated because I'm not that, I'm not that great. I mean, if I get... I was getting frustrated because I was like, this is kind of sad because I don't wait, I don't have anything for us to do. And then it's just like me and Ethan sitting here looking at each other, trying to find things to do. And then it's like the pressure's on and I get even worse at thinking of things to do. So, um, we have found a really happy medium that actually works probably better for all of us. It does. So, I really do think so. So, instead of working with me full, full time, he still works for me full time, but Ethan works with me three days a week. Eight to eight four. Eight to four. Or whenever. Pretty it's... much eight fifteen because Ethan's never here at eight. But I don't actually care. So that works out for us. If you tell me to be somewhere, you better say twenty minutes before. <laughs> I will not be there on time. So we work about eight fifteen to four, three days a week, and then for three other days a week, Ethan works at Badwoods. And this all comes pretty full circle because we did videos with Badwoods before Ethan worked there. And so now Ethan works there three days a week, and it's pretty good because, I mean, if you take Ethan's two favorite things, it's probably doing random stuff and guns. <laughs> and when you come when you come here, you do random stuff and guns, and then whenever he goes to Badwoods, which is a gun store, if you don't know, he sells guns all day and looks at guns, researches guns, learns about his guns, sells guns, buys guns, stuff like that. So it's really good. I do their media, too. Yeah. I am head over Badwoods Media. And what I do for the... I don't really like to go super hard. I know there's other YouTubers that like literally go every single day, all day, and I'm like, dude, I they're don't... gonna burn out. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I was like, That's just the facts. They're. I was like, uh, YouTube's fun, but you can only physically and mentally do so much, even if you love it. Yeah, you need to slow down. I'm not really, I'm more of a marathon kind of guy. I'm not, I'm not a sprinter, okay? It's like five days a week, me and Ethan sprinted for three weeks, maybe even a month. And after that, I was, we ran out of stuff to do. And it's never a problem until you run out of stuff to do or you get burnout. Yeah. And so, for me, I don't want to go seven days a week. I don't want to go all day, every day. I want to have some time in my life. So that I can chill, I can take it easy, play the gaming channel some, take it easy. I want to go out with my doggy, my little squirrel doggy, and I want to say, here, uh, sit, and I'll give you a treat and stuff like that. I want to go out, and I want to uh, pretty much do nothing. I want to watch a lot of YouTube. I want to keep, I want to be fresh. I will say that. I'll take the pride in saying that we never got burnt out with stuff. No, no. We, we literally just had nothing else to do. Yeah. Because we was constantly wanting to find more to do. If this tells you, like, we enjoy this, um, I'm sure you're the same way. But even if I wasn't here to get paid, I enjoy doing what we do here. And we literally just look for things to do. It's yeah. not that we get burnt out on anything. It's no. just there's so much. And then there's so much to do. But, but at the same time, making a video out of it and it being something that people would enjoy is yeah. two different things. Yeah. And so with me, I like to... We work three days a week on uh, the main channel and second channel stuff. And then if you want to know about me, I usually take the weekend and do something completely random. Probably my <laughs> uncle or something. Go go. Uh, sometimes I'll film on the Saturday, but usually only if it's like a hunting thing. And uh, hunting on a Saturday, a lot of times I like to go hunting first and film it instead of going to make a video and hunting i'll go hunting and make a video about it 
And I'm like, just put, you know, put a GoPro in my pocket. I'm going hunting with my uncle. And if I kill a rabbit, that's awesome. If my head cam happens to be on, that's awesome. But if I kill the rabbit, or if we don't see a single rabbit, I don't really care. Because I'm not, I'm not attached to my YouTube channel like it's who I am. Like, basically what I'm saying is that if my YouTube channel for some reason got stripped away from me and everything I ever got from the YouTube channel was stripped away, I would not cry river. I'd be like, dang, we had a good run, but I'm happy with what I've done and I'm pretty comfortable being just me. But that's I'm not trying to say I'm quitting. I'm not quitting. I'm just saying that I'm content. Oh, yeah. We've talked about this a lot. Yeah. Just between us. It's- yeah. It's like we know some people that are like, it's like they identify their self-worth with how many views they're getting. And we know other YouTubers that are like us and they're like, they want to come out. They want to do collab. And they're like, hey, man, I just want to come out and have fun. We'll make a video if it happens. But if it's like, and if they're, and, and they're like, but if we don't get a video, that's fine, man. We just had fun hanging out. His name is Ace Videos. Ace the Videos. The man's a stick rock star. Ace is awesome. He came up here. Poor little Ace, man. I kind of feel bad for him, but also don't because he's awesome. He came all the way up here, which is from just from Tennessee. It's not that far. He came up here. He was so excited to get him a squirrel and cook a squirrel sandwich. Man, I was like, dude, 100% guarantee we're going to get you as many squirrels as you can imagine. Well, we didn't see any squirrels. He missed I mean, one. <laughs> we we took him out. I was like, dude, it's going to be hot. The squirrels are going to be everywhere. I remember that. We went out hunting. I All went my day. separate way. I was like, you know what? Hey, Ace, we'll both make a cool video. I'll go this way. You go that way. We'll come together at the end and eat you. Eat, you can cook us a squirrel. So Ethan and Ace went one way trying to kill their squirrels. I went the other way trying to kill me some squirrels. We'd kill us a bunch of squirrels. Have a good day. I went out. I actually seen a bunch. I shot it a bunch, but I was using a Spaz 12. That's not made to kill squirrels. No. And let me tell you, it doesn't kill squirrels. <laughs> Ace, it didn't see a squirrel. I don't know how y'all didn't see a squirrel. Maybe he's in actually a bad spot. I think we was. Yeah, because I've seen a lot of squirrels, but I couldn't kill them. I came back. It was like 12 o'clock, which is really late for squirrel hunting. Usually past uh, 11. If you ain't killed a squirrel, it's looking bad. It's a bad oh, day. Oh. Which it was a bad day. Oh, and it was spring. It was summer squirrel season. It's June. Yeah. I was like, dang, dude, I bet you're sweating. He was, it was like, miserable. He was, he's bald. He was sweating. He's eating cheese puffs. <laughs> I was like, man, dude, this ain't look good. He was like, it's okay. I was like, dang, <laughs> you're cool. Ace is a very good guy. Yeah, like and so Ace. then we finally brought him back to my house to a hot spot. He killed, oh, he killed a squirrel, which was nice. He killed his first squirrel, or maybe his first squirrel. Did he? Did he kill one? I know he shot it. No, one. he killed a squirrel. Yeah. I don't know if it was his it. first squirrel. Because he had done a squirrel catch cook before, yeah. but I don't know if he was the one that killed him. I don't know. I don't think he was. I watched the video. I don't I don't recall that he actually killed him. But it was fun. He had fun. I was like, man, Ace, I'm really sorry, because I told you you're going to have like a 100% chance. And he was like, no, dude, it's fine. He understands that, you know, sometimes you're going to go out, you're going to try to make a video. You're not going to get to make the video, and he understands that. And he's like, you know what? I'm going to have fun, and we're just going to have a good time, even if we don't going to make a video about it. And, dude, that's what he did, and it's stinking awesome. And that's why he wasn't sad whenever he went home that, yeah, he did drive all the way up here, spend his gas money, and didn't get a video out of it. He wasn't mad. No. He wasn't mad at the world. We got to do a fun little podcast. I think he enjoyed that. I enjoyed it. It was really fun. He's and, already uh, wanting to come up and do another podcast. Yeah, he just down in Florida every yeah. other week. It's hard to Pretty get him much. up here. But yeah, dude, I mean, if y'all like Ace, he's coming back. And we're going to him, too. Even w- it, we're going down to Ace. He went down to Ace in the summer. I was going to go, but then something happened and I didn't get to go. But Yeah, I will say this. And y'all went fishing. Y'all didn't catch it. Like, no, did no. Speaking of that, being Ace went, Ace took me out striper fishing. First time I went, you know, uh, Thought we'd have a really good day, <laughs> and uh, we didn't catch anything. But you know what? We didn't get a video out of it, but we got a live stream. And everything was really good. And How did Ace feel about it that day? Was he mad? He He's the same person on camera and off camera. He was like, you know what? We just got to try again. 
wasn't mad about it. And he's like, he said, like, dude, I'm sorry we didn't catch anything, nothing like that. And we're like, no, it's all right. And he's like, yeah. He's like, we'll just come back and try it again. This isn't an Ace Videos podcast. This is an Ethan podcast. But for real, we do. We both really like Ace, He's and that's one guy. person we both really, really like. But um, speaking of Ace being like um, content is content the word? Maybe not content, but uh, he's real. He's um, he's okay with whatever happens, whatever the word is for that. I think I think me and you's like that too. Mm-hmm. Maybe I can't speak for myself, but I do. You are pretty. You, if something goes bad wrong, it's like, you know what? Dang, that's not cool, but we'll fix it. I mean, it's not the best thing in the world, but I'm not going to get mad and throw stuff. No. I do throw stuff sometimes, but I throw stuff knowing that uh, it might break. So it's not like if it does break, I'm mad. I throw things and I'm like, you know what? I'll be like this. I'll be like, I kind of throw things just because I'm not really mad. That's just something to do. <laughs> but I'm like, dang. Can't, if I If I break this boogie board... Am I going to be mad? Nope. I understand the consequences. I will say this. I'm going to call you out on one thing. You should. Filming his filming his squirrel hunt video, the guy and Tacticams do not have a good run together. Oh, my goodness, dude. <laughs> That's one thing. I don't know if that was in the video or not, but me and Ethan went squirrel hunting with a Tacticam, which is a little... Uh, they're good sometimes. They gave them to me. They get good footage sometimes. A lot of times they don't. I don't know if they're that good or not. I don't know. I'm going to be honest, dude. I mean, but regardless, uh, yeah, my tactic cam wasn't working. And I was like, do I understand that if I rip this off my gun and sling it into the oak tree that it's going to break? Yes, I understand that. And it broke. And I I understand that. And I will, uh, I'm fine with the consequences. Rip it, boom. Bust that thing wide open. It's sitting there beeping. <laughs> it's like, you can't beep whenever I'm squirrel hunting. That no. literally makes it even worse. Yeah. So I was like, sure, I'll sacrifice <laughs> Attack the cam and break it. What's some more? Which is already broken. Another one is uh, Ethan's had a lot of jobs. Tell us about them. Start naming them. Uh, first job and the longest job I was at was a shoe store. I worked at a shoe store. I've worked since I was sixteen years old. I did. Uh, really? How like, old are you now? I'm twenty. I am twenty years old. When is your birthday? August twenty fourth. Cool. Same day as Braden Price. But um, I worked at the shoe store. That, Besides here, that was my second favorite job. Loved it. Loved the people I worked with. Besides Badwoods. Mm, you know. Shoe stores. That's given. I've not yeah. been. The people. I, I don't know if you could compare it. But that was probably the people that owned it at the time was great people loved them to death they do anything they could for, love that job then after covid hit things went bad and everybody started getting laid off stuff like that and uh they i guess things just went all crazy and i was like you know what i can't just stay not working and uh i went to walmart dc which is the distribution, distribution center distribution center uh worked there for a little while don't like it uh <laughs> let me just go ahead and tell you this <laughs> Um, I worked in the freezer, which is, if you want to work there, work the freezer. <laughs> I didn't like waking up at 2.30, driving half an hour, and not knowing what time you're going to get off, and being absolutely, like, broke down at the end of the week. It's very so, physical, I've heard. I went there and worked, and I'm not even going to say the name. I I don't like these people at all, but... I worked on side by sides, and that's all I'm gonna say about that. Don't recommend them. I'm not gonna say any names. But then I went to another place, worked maintenance for a little bit. Then I was like, after that, ended up here, worked here for a little while. I'm still here. I don't ever plan on leaving for as long as I can stay here. And I work at Badwoods. Badwoods in here is probably my two favorite period. That if I had to pick, which kind of integrate them both into the same thing, I really like them. That's been my jobs. What's interesting about your jobs is that, from what I know about them, they they taught you really good uh, actual like skills that you use. The side by side taught you how to like work on the Can Am that I drive and break a lot. I don't really break it, but we do do upgrades and random things do happen to it. Yeah, 
And then the shoe store taught you uh, shoe sizes and stuff. I do like my Ugh. shoes. That's a weird fact about me. I collect a lot of shoes. Interesting. What else do you do? Besides hunt. Yeah, collect. besides outdoor stuff, guns, and shoes. Cars. Really? I really like cars. I do. What do you like about them? Why? Why do you like a car? I don't know. I To me... A car is kind of like guns to me. They're works of art in their own ways, and everyone's different. They're just kind of something. It's kind of the same aspects almost. I mean, if you buy either one, you're not just losing something. You're buying a tool. You're buying something useful. Art is pretty crazy. And what you said about how everybody's different, I've noticed that with guns. I don't know anything about cars. I don't know the first thing about cars, but I drive a truck. That's what I know. I know that my taste in guns favors Towards very old antique war guns, while his um, his uh, flavoring, whatever, in guns kind of leans into more modern, useful guns like pistols, rifles, shotguns, stuff like that. Yeah. Like the, a tactical, I'd say. Yeah, I do. Tactical hunting, whatever. Still, I still like the old stuff. Yeah, and I still like the new stuff. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's kind of like the car thing. Yeah. You got your favorites, but then it, but then at the end of the day, you like them all for what they are. They're, they're just there, and you can't look over them. You you can pick here, there, and yonder, but it's just something that always kind of like held close to me. Like I like them. I feel like guns and cars express who you are as a person. Yeah. They both, they're both, um, they're both guns and cars are a symbolization symbol of freedom. They are because a lot of places that don't have freedom, like California, just saying, they have restrictions on guns and cars. I didn't even know that was even possible to yeah. restrict what kind of car you can drive. Exhaust. How do they do that? How is that even possible? It's a car. I don't know. Like my car wouldn't be legal in California. My guns wouldn't be legal. Wouldn't be legal in California. I don't think I own a single gun that would be legal there. If I ask you, <laughs> what kind of guns have you had the past? It'd take forever. But what kind of cars have you had the past? I've had a few. What are they? And why did you like about them? Uh, hmm. What was it's, your first car? My first car. Yeah. I don't even remember what my first car was. Hmm. But um, just as far as myself buying them, I'll go like that. I'll go. I'll name the cars I've bought myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's been my Camaro. I've kept it for a while. Um, thinking about getting rid of it. I'm actually wanting to upgrade Camaros. But What kind of Camaro do you got? I just have a 2018 Camaro. But I'm wanting a 2022 Camaro ZL1, 1LE. But, I mean, do I really need it? No. Do I want it? Yeah, but that my car now has been the favorite car that I've ever drove. I'll put it like that. What color is it? Hyper electric blue. Tell us some of the specs. What do you mean? Uh, I'm not a car guy. I don't know. What do you want to know? For about the people it? who know stuff about cars, tell them a little bit about what your what your car is and what makes it a car. I don't know. It's got four wheels and it drives. Ooh, what, what about it? What kind of what kind of engine it got in it? It's got the Chevrolet 10 R80 transmission, which is a 10-speed automatic transmission. Um, I've got the full navigation. I've got... I don't even know what package it is. <laughs> I would have to look. But uh, there's not really been much done to it as far as external work. I, I thought about doing a little bit extra, but I didn't. Everything's mostly done as far as tune work, nitrous, stuff like that. What is nitrous? What does nitrous it do? oxide is a gas that uh, it's extremely cold. Basically, once you spray it into an engine, it's kind of like go-go juice in a way. It just creates more power for the car, more combustion. It provides. It's like shooting a bunch of oxygen in at once, essentially, but it's nitrous and creates a hotter and faster burn. Hmm. Gives you more power. But I can't be saying that because I can't. Let my secrets loose. Hmm. Here's a question that I have. Ask it. Maybe some of the viewers have. Ask it. Why do you like turkeys? As in, like, my pet turkeys so much? Kanye? And Kim. I don't know. I hate Kim. They think I'm like their dad or something. Yeah. I don't know. They're just cool to me. I mean, 
It's so weird because both these turkeys, I can just walk up, pick them up, and just be like, what's up? And they're like, what's up? But as far as a reason liking them, I don't. I just think they're neat. And I like to turkey hunt. always did. And then to turkey hunt, you have to be the turkey. So y'all don't know it, but I'm telekinesis with them. I'm picking up what they're putting down, you know. Kanye hates my uncle. I know that. Like, I hates him. I really don't understand how. Like, hates him very bad. He knows exactly who he is, and he attacks him every time, 100%. Then with Ethan, Ethan just walks up and picks him up. Yeah. yeah. I'll him. Pro- I'll probably go pick him up later. <laughs> yeah, you do it about once or twice a day. Oh, you have to. You have to be like, give him a little pat on the head, you That's know? That's Kanye East. He's big Tom. Big white Tom. Big, Kanye. Big, what are they called? We don't, I don't know what they're called. They're just a big white turkey. <laughs> then we got another big white turkey. She's a hen. Her name's Kim. Yeah. And uh, she's she's dumb, dude. <laughs> I've, I've been wanting to kill her and eat, do a catch and cook with her for a long time, and Ethan won't let me. No. She just walks over top of you. She just steps on your feet. Yeah. She's not the smartest. If you try to pick her up, she just flaps her wings and beats your brains out. It's not when you pick her up, it's when you go to put her down. Then she's all like, yeah, I'm going to beat this guy up. She's just... Gosh, I don't know about her. Yeah, she's okay. I don't know about her. Not as cool as Kanye, though. What could make this job better? What can make it better? Yeah. I don't know. You don't know? No. No idea? If Making it better? I don't know if there is a way to make it better necessarily you would say better because i mean everything about it i mean i have no complaints about any of it it's always different it's always something new every day it never changes or it's it's never the same yeah it's never the same you come in here one day well heck one day we'll be fighting with a raccoon outside next day tree falls over the road here go fix it Next day, guy calls, hey, will you come shoot these coyotes? They're, like, destroying my field or something. Hey, we're going down by the river. I'm going to go fishing or something. Yeah, it's just... Hey, we're going down the road, little piece. Yeah. What for? I don't know yet. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. It seems like we're always content. It's like, here's the thing I'll, I know about both of us. We're not good at explaining stuff to each other, but yet about halfway through, like, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... It's like, you didn't let me finish. That's all right. I'm going. <laughs> it's very different. It what do you is. think about the podcast? I like the podcast. I really do. Because uh, we, uh, Ethan was a, uh, what? What would you say? Co-host for like the first, how many episodes? A lot. Yeah. Co-host. Do you like them? I do. I really do like them. I, I feel like they might get knowing us a little better. But I will just go ahead and say this. You can probably ask Kendall, but. I'm the same person you see on camera as in real life. I think that's how it should be. I'm no different. I think it's crazy that some people aren't. I don't like that. I mean, actors do it on shows and stuff, but for YouTube, some people are different than what you think they'd be on camera. And I just, that's kind of strange and kind of catches you off guard. I will call you out for doing that, too. It's like, if I see it, I'll call you out. That's just kind of person I am. me do you have any last words ethan that just sounded a little bad i mean (laughs) no i hope i'm not dying but any last words before the podcast is over that's a little better um they should uh go subscribe to my youtube channel really yeah what's it called just my name just ethan carmack how many videos you got i don't know like four five (laughs) let me taste that i'm starting I'm not going to be anywhere like this guy right here across the table from me, but it's just fun. It gives me something to do, but I enjoy it. Who do you think we should have next on the podcast? Maple Man. Um, either him. I would like to see Ace back. Oh, yeah. That or another uh, review with Mammy or somebody like that. Oh, yeah, Mammy does need her podcast. We should get both Mammies and just let them review each other, like interview each other. Both mammies? Yeah. That's my mammy and his mammy. 
we but we call both of them Miami. But yeah, could you imagine those two? No, I couldn't either. Something would burn down. It would be pretty great. <laughs> well, boys, I guess that's all we're gonna have for today. Um, subscribe to the channel because we're gonna we're gonna try to do more of these. Just like this, just like the gaming channel. Right? What was it? No, just like my main YouTube channel. We started off a little bit, and then we quit. Then we started back again, and then we quit. And now maybe this time may be the one time that we actually keep it going. So if you like these podcasts, tell us. Because we don't know if you do or not. Okay, bye.